The American Conservative TAC is a bi-monthly magazine founded in 2002 and published by the American Ideas Institute, a non-profit, right-leaning, non-partisan, 501 organization based in Washington, D.C. The organization, publication states that it exists to, promote a conservatism that opposes unchecked power in government and business, promote the flourishing of families and communities through vibrant markets and free people, and embrace realism and restraint in foreign affairs based on America's national interests. History The American Conservative was founded by Scott McConnell, Patrick Buchanan, and Taki Theodorakopoulos in 2002 in opposition to the Iraq War. Daniel Strauss wrote, The idea of the American Conservative was that there were enough who disagreed with mainstream conservatism—libertarians, paleoconservatives, and civil libertarian conservatives, among other dissenters—to warrant such a publication. While other conservative magazines like National Review and The Weekly Standard marched more or less in lockstep with the Bush administration, the American conservative argued for a different course—sometimes with greater ferocity than the major political magazines on the left. Scott McConnell served as the magazine's first editor, followed by managing editor Kara Hopkins. Before the 2006 midterm elections, the American conservative urged its readers to vote for Democrats, saying, it should surprise few readers that we think a vote that is seen—in America and the world at large—as a decisive no vote on the Bush presidency is the best outcome." As of 2007, Buchanan and Tacky ceased to be involved with the editorial operations of the American conservative, although Buchanan continues to contribute columns. Ron Unz was named publisher in 2007. In 2011, Wick Allison became the magazine's publisher, followed in 2013 by John Basil Utley, the current publisher. In 2010, Daniel McCarthy succeeded Kara Hopkins as editor. In September 2011, the magazine introduced an editorial redesign of its print publication, and in May 2012, a redesign of its website. In October 2014, Benjamin Schwartz, the former national and literary editor of The Atlantic, was named national editor of the magazine. In November 2016, Robert W. Mary succeeded Daniel McCarthy as editor, with Louis McCrary and Kelly Bokar Vlahos as executive editors. After Mary's retirement in July 2018, W. James Antle III was named editor. Reception In 2009 Rehan Salam, National Review editor, wrote that the publication had "...gained a devoted following as a sharp critic of the conservative mainstream." In 2012 David Brooks, columnist at The New York Times, wrote, The American conservative has become one of the more dynamic spots on the political web. Writers like Rod Dreher and Daniel Larison tend to be suspicious of bigness, big corporations, big government, a big military, concentrated power and concentrated wealth. Writers at that website, and at the temperamentally aligned front porch republic, treasure tight communities and local bonds. They're alert to the ways capitalism can erode community. Dispositionally, they are more Walker Percy than Pat Robertson. At an event at the University of New Orleans in March 2017, Hillbilly Elegy author J.D. Vance shared, I did this interview with Rod Dreher at the American Conservative magazine, and then the book, Hillbilly Elegy, exploded. Notable contributors Some notable contributors throughout the years at the American Conservative have included, Andrew Basevich, Doug Bandau, Patrick Buchanan, Rod Dreher, Leon Hadar, Peter Hitchens, Samuel P. Huntington, James Kurth, Christopher Lane, Michael Lind, William S. Lind, John Mearsheimer, Rand Paul, Mark Perry, Steve Saylor, and Jim Webb. See also